Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Friends in Christ Jesus, this morning our message is from Psalm 37, verse 5. I am reading from Psalm 37, verse 5. The Lord says to you, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and, she, and he shall bring it to pass. Mm -hmm. Amen. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. Child of God, this is a simple message. For you today from the Lord. The Lord is giving you a simple message. He says to you, commit yourself unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. You have joined in this 54-day Rosary Novena. You have been coming every morning and the evening to offer your prayers, to offer your petitions. This means you have committed your way to the Lord. In your other activities of the day, try also to commit whatever you do into the hands of the Lord. Commit your way, your way of life into the hands of the Lord. But above all, the Lord is saying to you this morning, trust also in Him. Trust. <clears throat> trust. The Lord says, trust also in Him. Even if all around you it may seem impossible for you to achieve what you're asking for. As a human, in the eyes of human, what you're asking for may be impossible to achieve. But the Lord says to you this morning, trust also in Him and He will bring it to pass. Trust in Him and He will bring it to pass. There is nothing too difficult for the Lord to do. There is nothing too difficult for the Lord to do. And one thing you must understand is that His ways are different from our ways. <clears throat> His ways are different from our ways. And that is why in your own understanding, in your own eyes, this challenge seems impossible. This problem seems impossible for you to solve. The challenge seems impossible in the eyes of man. But it's different in the eyes of God because his ways are different from our ways. What seems impossible to man is possible for God. He says to you this morning, trust also in him and he will bring it to pass. Trust in Him and He will bring it to pass. I pray for you this morning that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary that Our Lady will give you faith, <clears throat> trust, that virtue of faith, that kind of faith that moves mountains, that faith that causes miracles to happen. May our Blessed Mother Mary obtain for you the virtue of faith. That you have faith and trust in the Lord. That kind of faith that says it is possible even though my heart or my understanding sees this as an impossibility. But then you can say with faith that with God this is possible. I pray our Lady obtain for you that kind of faith. To believe that with God all things are possible. To truly believe that whatever challenge you are going through, that the Lord will take care of it. As you lay your petitions every morning at the feet of our Blessed Mother Mary. As you lay your petitions every night at the feet of our Blessed Mother Mary. I pray for you that you have this faith, this trust in God. That he is able to solve, to answer your petitions. And may our most loving Jesus 
to the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Answer every petition that we offer every morning, every night at the feet of Our Lady. May our loving Jesus look not upon our faithlessness because so many times we Christians we are faithless. So many times we don't even have the faith that the Lord can do this. May the Lord forgive our sins and not look upon our faithlessness. But may he look upon the faith of our blessed mother Mary who intercedes on our behalf. May the Lord not look upon your faithlessness. But may he look upon the faith of our lady, our great intercessor, the one who intercedes on your behalf. And may the Lord grant you your every petition to this 54-day erosion of Anna. I ask this in the mighty name of J-E-S-U-S, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. As we come to the end of our rosary this morning, we offer all our petitions at the feet of our blessed mother Mary, the one who had faith that the word of the Lord to her will come to pass. As we pray, we we'll fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our prayers and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.